pass and like cut from that, he was able to make a pitch play against basically all of it. Yeah, I know it was uh, definitely the genius that he has in him came out on that on that goal. <clears throat> you know, I think we were all quite frustrated with the second period and uh, came out of it actually unscathed. Uh, and and that was that was uh, the, the language between periods. And for him to come out with that energy and to understand the opportunity we had after the the painful two two goal and uh, you know the situation we were in after the the penalties. I thought uh, it's just it's the leader that we that we have in Jack and the the player that we have in Jack all came through in that in that moment of brilliance. There's a lot of talk in there about the way you have helped them reset the Tampa game, the Vancouver game in the past might linger for weeks here, and it doesn't. Anymore. Yeah. What do you do in your mind to help a team reset the way they've been? Yeah, I think more than anything, it's just uh, what we do in advance of the game or what we do between the games. It's important that. We are continually focusing on on the habits that that make make us strong and give us a chance against top teams like Las Vegas. And I thought that uh, you know between periods we stayed quite calm, but we were we were stern, we were angry, and it was just about getting back to that. And the first period was one of our best in a long time, and it was quite disappointing then to give up on some of those habits. At the same time, they're as good a checking team as we've seen in this building, and. They, they hound pucks like, like I haven't really seen. Maybe St. Louis does it, uh, but not m many other teams hound like that. And to recover and still win the game, I thought, was, was excellent. But what I do is just keep the dialogue up with the guys, keep things honest, keep it real, and have them also participate in the process. And your goal, another example of like, the, the movement, the unpredictability that's been like, benefiting you lately. Yeah, that's what we're, we're just trying to create more movement um, and be a little pu be a little quicker with the puck. Um, you know, getting open for each other and um, you know finding those lanes. What? How does the dynamic change across the line and how? I mean, for me, it just kind of creates more movement. Um, you know, guys kind of reading, reacting. Um, you know, I think we've got guys that can kind of play every, any position out there. Um, you know, sort of just trying to make reads and, uh, you, you, you know, find the open guy, really. Do you like that? You could be in the circle. You could be in front of the net. You could be anywhere on that. And it seems like you are. It seems like you really are kind of driving the other team crazy because they don't know where you are. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know where half the time out there right now. It's 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 kind of new, but like I said, everyone's kind of filling into different positions. Um, you know, the coach has done a good job of kind of get, letting us know, you know, kind of how the other team defends and, and just kind of letting us go from there. So it's 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 been nice to see a couple go in for us, and um, just trying to keep that going. Would you say Risto's a little bit of an underrated passer to make that little pass? Yeah, he's looked very poised down there. So um, you know, that's a big part of it that. You know, maybe if he if he didn't look so poised, maybe I would be, um, you know, a little more tempted to go down there. But um, you know, he's been doing a great job. He's been making great reads of you know when to stay in front of the net, when to uh, when to release. So um, you know, it's been fun to watch. He seems like he's having fun with it. Is he? I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, especially that goal in Detroit. Um, you, you know, he, he he certainly earned that. He, he put himself in the right position all night on the power play and. Um, you know, he, he, he was obviously pretty excited when it went in, and we were too. What got you guys through this game? I mean, there were times where Vegas had their chances, especially in the second period. What you got, got you guys back to your game? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was our, our, our best by any means. I, I think you ask, I, you know, my, myself, I, I think, you know, bottom line, I was just trying to find a way. Um, you know, I think that team checks one of the best in, in, in the league. I think they're a little quicker than us in the second. Um, you know, a couple of big saves, uh, you know, a couple of kills there for us. Um, you know, we're able to keep it in, and then obviously a big pull by Ikes. Jack and Kyle were just saying that Rob's ability to hit the reset That's button has really helped you guys this year. The fact that after the Vancouver game, you won these two in a row, is that a testament to that, I guess? That, that yeah, I think, I think his uh, in-game management has, has been great for us. Um, you know, whether it's watching guys' minutes, making sure everyone's fresh out there when, when they're called up called upon so um, you know it's little things like that that uh, you know go a long way on the bench throughout the game. Jack, on your goal, were you thinking you shot the whole way or were you looking to pass it up or what, like, what was going through your mind? I mean I know I had, I had Z coming with me there. Rhino makes a nice play on the wall. Uh, you know I, I think they're deep. Theodore tried to step up uh, just try to get it around them and I kind of saw Flurry cheating a little bit on the pass, so I just tried to tuck it in the short side. 
How'd you guys, how'd you feel you guys react to that goal in the third period there? I mean, I thought we thought we did well. You give them credit. I mean, they're uh, they're a veteran team. They don't give you a whole lot. They check really well. Uh, you know, they uh, they transition the puck well. I mean, you can tell those guys have uh, obviously had some runs in the playoffs, and um, you know, I, I give us a lot of credit for sticking with it and finding a way to get two points. And uh, you know, during the second, I think our puck management was un wasn't where we wanted it to be. Uh, you know, I definitely made some bad turnovers, and and uh, you know, some other guys probably wanted to make some uh, some different reads and different plays. But um, you know, give Linus credit; he uh, he made some huge saves for us, and um, you know, we're able to find a way to get uh, get a goal on the power play and, and head into the third with the lead. And then obviously they score one on the power play, but uh, we just stick with it and. Um, you know, it's a, it's a gutsy win, and we needed that win. What do you think the first about period, you guys skated really well. Um, Two questions here. What are we going? In the first period, you guys created a lot of offense. Was it because of the skating that you guys were skating well in the period? I think we uh, I think we did a good job on the cycle. I thought we uh, made them play in their end, and uh, we protected pucks well, and, and our D were pretty active. I think, you know, when we're doing things like that, we're a really good hockey team. That's our game, and I think in the second we got away from it a little bit. We didn't uh, we didn't spend as much time down there as we wanted, and. Um, you know, I think it kind of, uh, you know, it kind of stalled our game a bit. But I thought we got it going a little bit better in the third. And uh, it all starts with our forecheck and, and just being aggressive, trying to put the other team on their heels. And um, you know, some guys stepped up and had big nights tonight. Obviously, Oki's goal is a huge one, and uh, you know, Rhino had uh, had a couple great uh, had a couple great plays. And um, you know, I just thought uh, I thought we stuck with it, and, and uh, you know, we needed those two points bad. So uh, it was good to get them. Jack, what does it say about the resilience of this club, the way you've been able to bounce back from the Tampa and Vancouver game? In the past, those would have been yeah. killer losses. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I think the group just responds to Ralph so well and, and, and the message he delivers, especially after, uh, you know, games like St. Louis and, and, uh, and Vancouver where I think we get away from our identity a little bit and, and we don't do the things that make us successful, I think. You know, Ralph's able to hone the group in so well and, and get us to, uh, you know, get us to play the game that, you know, we know we need to play to win. And uh, it starts with protecting our, our net and, and, and the house around uh, our goalie. And, um, you know, obviously transitioning the puck well and, and uh, playing in their end. But I, I just think that uh, he's been so good at, at bringing us back and, and getting us all uh, back on the same page and bought in. And uh, he kind of just hits the reset button. He doesn't carry his emotions over from... You know, maybe he's mad at us for our performances here and there, but uh, he never carries it over, and it's uh, it, he just brings such a good attitude to the rink every day, and I think it just flows through the uh, the locker room with all the players, and, and, and we're able to reset after bad losses and, and just find a way to, uh, you know, be good the next night because, you know, that's all you can really do. It's, uh, you know, you can't hold on to your, you can't hold on to your mistakes, and, and obviously you can't, ride, uh, you can't ride your wins too much. I mean, it happens so quick in this league every night. Um, every night's a new challenge, so... Uh, you just got to get ready for the next game. I think we're just we're just shooting. Uh, I think when you're when it's not going well, you just you need volume of shots, and just that seems to be opening everything up. And and uh, so we're just going to keep keep at it. Has there been more movement on it, or you guys are maybe moving more? Yeah, I think we've gotten some movement. It hasn't been as stagnant. Guys are kind of in different spots and. Kind of just playing and letting your uh, letting your instincts and your skill take over. On your goal, did you just kind of set the set the defenseman up for for a screen there? Yeah, I just um, just pulled it and he kind of left his legs open, so just wanted to fire it and um, use him as a screen. Do you have? Uh, he's good to me over the years, um, but yeah, he's a competitor. He's. Uh, I know he's a, just a great, great person, and uh, he's been a great goalie in this league for a long time. He's, uh, you know, he's he's a guy that, uh, you know, he's been a star, and uh, he's he's a tough competitor. He made some great saves tonight, so uh, anytime you can win against him, it's uh, it's a good good game. How about being able to come back? I mean, they they had you a little bit in the second period. Uh, what got you guys back onto your game? I think we just. Uh, we just started to play simple again. I think in the second, our puck management was just terrible. We just 
turned pucks over at the blue line, turned it over in the neutral zone, and then they just uh, they just kind of shoved it back down our throat. So, um, you know, we just got back to playing our game and, and uh, being simple and, and getting the pucks in and trying to work them. Kyle, you talked the first day of training camp about the feeling that Ralph brought into this room. What have you learned about the way he helped you guys reset after a tough loss? Well, it's just... You just come to work and it's it's a new day. I mean, it's just there's no uh, there's no moping around. There's no hard feelings. If if we have to watch if we have to watch clips uh, the game before and learn from it, we do. And if we have to just move on and focus on what we need to do the next game, we will. It's just it's a new day. You know, you're going to lose games in this league, but just the uh, the positivity and and just the vibe that he brings and, and the way that he speaks and motivates um, has been uh, has been awesome for us this year. Thank <laughs> you.